we thank you. We thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you, oh God, for all that you have done for us. We know, Lord God, that it was had to be because of you uh, that we're here this morning. It's, it's all because of you. You're the source you're of our strength. You're the strength of our life. Everything that we have, Lord God, comes from you. And so we're thankful for that, oh God. We're thankful for that, oh God. We love you, oh God. We appreciate you. So Father, now let the ear that is dull of hearing be open. Let the heart that is heavy be lifted. Let the mind that is scattered be brought into unity of faith, believing in your only Son. And Father, in the name of Jesus, give strength right now. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I will be so careful to love you, to praise you, to honor you, to glorify you, to say good things about you. We thank you, O oh God, because you're the greatest power. Lord God, you're the greatest power, O oh God. And we shall never be defeated because you are on our side. So keep us this day, O oh God, in your strength. Bibles go with me to the book of Philippians. I have preached from this topic, this text, several times, but this is we're getting ready to we're going through a little different way. I thank God for his word. I may are thankful for the word of God. I'm thankful for the word of God. When you have it, just stand on your feet. Just stand on your feet. And I'm reading from the King James Version. And I think I want you to read this. We're going to read it since it's just one verse. You don't mind reading it several times, do you? Over. You don't mind reading it over and over and over. Just, just several times. I'm just trying to make a point. When you have it, say amen. And I'm sure it's on the screen for those who may not have brought the Bible so I just forgot and left it in the car it's okay it says being confident of this very thing that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ now I want you to read it with me this time ready being confident of this very thing that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Now read it one more time. Ready? Go. Okay, this time I want you to read it with, with some with some vigor, some vitality, some some strength, some 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 voice, so I can hear hear it. I, I should be able to hear it over the PM. Are y'all ready? Be confident. I'm gonna say it that one. This is the last time we're gonna read it. So I want you to read it with some vigor, some 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 hope, some confidence. And, and, and you ready? Let's go. Be confident of this very thing that he which be, have begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Now put those hands together for the Lord right now. You may be, you may be seated in the house of God. Today, I want to talk to you uh, briefly, uh, as, as, as the brevity will be according to how God goes. Everybody say character. character. Everybody say character. 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 Character is the completely fashioned will. Y'all mind if I come down there? Could y'all sit that up there? I'm going to come down there this morning. 
that my help is not ring if I'm not standing up here. All right, all right. Now, yeah, see, stop ringing. Stop ringing. All right. I'm just thankful for the Lord for character. Everybody say character. Character, character is is are the features that make up or distinguish an individual or a group of people. Character are the traits, the, the action, the um, uh, detectable, as Marion Webster says, it's the detectable expression, meaning that it shows up. It shows up when it's supposed to show up. It stands when it's supposed to stand. It sits when it's supposed to sit. Character. Character is the expression of the action, the actions, or of a particular person or a particular group. It's that, it's that character. It's that character that's in you. It's the character in you. Do you have any character in you today? Does anybody in here have some character? Because, I, you know, when you look around, you wonder, you wonder whether or not there is character. Uh, people have moral character. We, we talk of moral fiber, as some people would call it, moral fiber. But, but you wonder whether or not people really have the, the correct character or have built the right character in their life uh, because remember it is a completely fashioned will characters built through the complete your will is what builds your character I know that we want to say that the incident or the particular thing that may be coming against us or what we're going through or where we're headed is the character builder but your character is built by your will because it doesn't matter that what is coming against you or, or, or you're going through, if you don't have the will to say yes, if you don't have the will to say no, if you don't have the will to, to do, guess what? It's just going to be what it is. And the character will tell. And it doesn't really tell on us. Our character doesn't tell us, tell on us often in the good times. It doesn't tell on us because we can smile and fake and be phony. Oh yes, we can. We can. We can do it with the best of them. Hollywood has no actors that can compete with just ordinary people. I know that they're there, but guess what? We are. We are some of the best actors and actresses there. There are because we can put on a front in a New York movie. And actually act as though there is nothing wrong. When our life on the inside, our mind on the inside, is steady running, is steady racing, steady, steady in topsy, it's just topsy turvy. It's it's just all out of whack. It's all out of whack. But I thank God. I thank God because God has given us some character builders. Everybody shout character builders. He's given us some character builders. He didn't leave us out there. I am just so happy. He did not leave us out there without giving us what we need in order to make it. He didn't give, he, he just didn't put us out there on the island like Gilligan and told us to make it up as we go along. But then, you know, I don't know for some of you younger people, y'all might not know about Gilligan. <laughs> but there was a story of uh, a truck crew that was shipwrecked and they had to create all this stuff but uh, I don't I, Gull, Gull Island, I know y'all heard of that but but, but, uh, but <laughs> excuse me I'm sorry I digress uh, but he gave us things and pillars and, and foundational supports that will cause us that will cause us to Build our the right character in us. Can we say amen? amen? It's there. It's there. It's always been there, and they've always been there. However, if we don't 
think that they're that vital in our character building, then we'll forsake those things and go to something that feels good, that makes us, that seemingly makes us feel good right away. That's so different than the, than the, than the drug addict or the alcoholic or, the, or, or whomever who uses, who uses prescription medicine or, or even just uh, uh, alcohol to drown or to bring them to, to a different place than where they were when they first started drinking. Because when they first started drinking, it did not feel good, and it wasn't feeling good, and so they actually take the drink or smoke the reefer, or the, and, 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 and and it's been said, now, I have never smoked reefer. Uh, I've been in the car and probably got contact highs, contact highs when I was going to high school, because the guys I went to school with, the car was filled with, with reefer smoke, but I didn't, I don't <laughs> And you know, as I look back, now I know why some people probably looked at me and said, because they can probably smell it. Y'all know what smells. Come on now. Y'all know what smells. <laughs> but I've never, but they say that the first joint you smoke, you're always chasing that high. You're always chasing that, that same high that you got before. Still you get your buzz, but you're still chasing the same with alcohol, the same with you do pills. You're still chasing that, 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 that seemingly great high mm -hmm. that you had before. And, and so you, when you use things other than, than what is really needful, and you, you create in you a character that is, that, that, that is, that, that is detrimental and you're detrimental to who yourself. You're detrimental to yourself more than you are to anybody else. You're detrimental to yourself. Because I've seen people get so high that they walk out in the middle of the street and walk down in the center of the street with cars coming because they're just so high that they don't think they think they're invincible. And so they have to detox and all of those things and some of us need to detox from this world because we're taking all the world's advice, all the world's information we're taking all the world and that doesn't mean that please do not get it twisted please, please just look at your neighbor and say don't get it twisted you know, pastor's not telling you don't drink water you know, I guess I'm saying the pastor's not telling you if you have uh, I've got to see the doctor this week because I believe I've got a hernia. So I'm going to go let's find out check it out with a hernia. I'm not going to sit at home and I know I've had one before. So I, I am kind of experienced in what, what, it, what it looks, what it feels like, what it, what it acts like sometimes. So I'm not telling you not to go to the doctor. But I'm not telling you to throw away all because that's of the world. That's of the world. No, God has allowed us the opportunity to be able to doctors to diagnose some of our symptoms, our cases, and 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 all of those things. Even though my grandpa, my grandpa always said they ain't doing it but practicing. So <laughs> that's what he used to say. He said they ain't doing it but practicing on me. I don't want them practicing on me. But I, I said, well, grandpa, it's okay. It's okay. Let them practice today. And we just make some decisions tomorrow. But let's, let's practice. Let them practice on you. So that's not what I'm saying. So don't go overboard with it. But there is something that we need to understand that God has placed within our reach, within our grasp, within, within the confines of, of our space that we can utilize to build the character. And, in the, in, and all these things build character in us. They build character in us because why? It gives us a road map. It gives us a way to go. It gives us an out. It gives us a way of looking at things differently than anyone else does. Now, if you don't know Jesus and, and you and you have not been saved, this will sound like this is just a, this is a real spiritual message, uh, a spiritual message for for to, to try to get people's minds, to try to grab people's minds. And I've heard that that you know we we use the word as a, the Bible as a mind controlling tool, and and you don't understand that if you don't believe. Like the Bible says in Hebrews 11 and 6, it says that, that, that without faith it's impossible to please him. That he that comes to God must believe that he is in the reward. If you don't believe that God exists, you don't believe that there is a God. You don't believe that God made the heavens and the earth. If you don't believe that you believe in the scientific theory that it was just a, a big boom, the big boom theory. And, uh, and all of a sudden everything, we came from tadpoles. And from tadpoles we went to, to, to monkeys 
monkeys and then all of that old kind of stuff. Well, I don't believe that. I choose not to believe. Now, let me let me clarify this. You are you are so free to choose what you believe. But don't knock me because of what I believe. I'm not going to knock you because of what you believe, but I'm going to tell you what I believe because then I believe that it was God who said, let us make man in his likeness and his image. It was God who, who, who gave us the authority and let him have dominion over everything that creepeth, everything and, and dominion over everything. And so it was God who, who, who is the will and the way that we walk. It's God that provides for us. And if, if you don't have that consciousness in mind, then character building is based upon what you feel, touch, taste, and see. Talk. Because God is not something you can put in a bottle, you can put him in a box, you can't capture him. You can only feel the moment he passes by, but you can't capture the moment and make it yours forever. You can't make it yours forever, and so you can only experience, we only can experience God from his presence. We experience God from what we have seen him do in our lives. And I don't know about you, but I am one that can say he has been real in my life. He has been real in my life. He has been real in my life. So, so these are some character builders. And, and if you want to write them down, that's fine. If, if you want to write them down, I, I'm going to try not to preach this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to, but I get excited. I do. I just get excited. And I have to go there because it just feels good to me and it helps me. Amen. The second character builder that I, I can speak a longer time with prayer, but I'm gonna move on because of time. But the second character builder that we have, what we have, is 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 praise. Praise is a character builder. You you say, well, Pastor, I don't know how to come praise is character builder. Uh, you know, I'm talking about God. I ain't talking about me. Well, you're talking about God making a way for you. <laughs> You're talking about God making a way for you, God opening a door for you, God moving things in a different direction for you. And what you do with praise will determine sometimes whether or not you stay in your stupor or your, 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 your downtime is, is, is based sometimes on how much you praise. You can pray and still not be lifted, but I promise you when you start being praise a praiser when you put the combination of prayer and praise together because even in the prayer it says our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name meaning that you also there's praise and prayer so don't don't get it twisted it all connects it all connects so so praise 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 is 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 comely for the upright praise is is where god abides praise is where 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 god you can see god work in you you can see his work through you you can see his work on you you can see his work around you through the praise of god you say well pastor what is praise praise is to commend the value or the worth of an individual that to you, what their value is to you. So when you praise God, and it doesn't mean that you have to shout it in tongues. It doesn't mean that you have to clap, uh, shout it as loud as you know, as loud as my microphone is now. You can be ever so still. And I promise, in heaven, it sounds like this. <laughs> it sounds like this now. Thank you, awesome God. You're worthy to be praised. You are the mighty God. And when you do it in, in heaven, it sounds like, Lord, you're awesome, God. You're wonderful, God. And the Bible lets me know that he inhabits the praises of his people. You want to move, God. I dare you to start praising him. I dare you to start praising him. Why do you say, Pastor, is that, why is that character? Because faith, remember, we're walking this thing by faith. And so I got to believe that even though it ain't worked out, it can work out. I, I got to believe that even though he hasn't come and delivered me, that he will deliver me. I've got to believe, like the Hebrew boys, even though old king lived forever, and even though he may not deliver me, he's still able. Oh God. And so praise is not conditioned upon a good time. Praise is not conditioned upon me coming out. Praise is conditioned upon knowing that God has been my keeper. Yeah. Been my way. God has been my way out. God has been my way up. God has been my way in. God has protected me. God has made ways out of noise. God has seen my deliver, and God has always kept me in spite of the fact that I felt like giving up this time. But but guess what? When I open my mouth, 
love and praise. Something begins to happen on the inside because why they're praying. It, oh God, it makes me want to actually run the aisles. It makes me want because when I think of the goodness of Jesus uh, and all that he has done for me, my soul begins to cry out, hallelujah. I praise God for saving me. I can't get enough of praising him because why? If I would not Oh God, if I would not be able to open my eyes, I can still open my mouth. If I can't even move my hands and get out of the bed to walk, I can still open my mouth. My mouth, my lips shall utter your praise. And out of the heart, oh God, the mouth speaks. And I know that he loves me in his fight of what I'm going through. I know that he loves me. I know that he loves me and so I open my mouth unto the Lord. I, oh God, oh God. I, I open my mouth to him uh, and the devil has tried to keep us silent because the first two character builders uh, have all to do with our tongue. Uh, it has all to do with our mouth uh, because if I can pray and talk to God uh, and if I can understand that I have to praise him, uh, then guess what? He gives me a way of escape uh, even when I can't in my mouth. Uh, the Bible says clap your hands uh, all you people. Uh, and if you don't understand that praise can be a hand praise uh, because we can give him an ovation. Oh. We can give him an ovation because why? He's God and not us. Uh, and we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So praise has a way uh, of opening up an understanding in my mind uh, that if I praise him uh, in spite of where I'm at, uh, I've got to build character uh, and praise will build character in me. Uh, that when the winds begin to blow, uh, when sickness is all around me, uh, when death is all around me, uh, I can still open my mouth. Uh, and say, I will bless the Lord uh, at all times. Uh, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Uh, my soul shall make a boast in the Lord. Uh, the other shall hear of and be made glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Uh, and let us exalt his name together. This poor man cried. Oh, God. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him from all of his troubles. Uh, I don't know who I'm God. Yes, I do know who I'm talking to today. I'm talking to y'all. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'm telling you right now uh, that if you just praise God, uh, the Bible says he's given us the garment of praise uh, for the spirit of heaviness. Uh, and some of you just need to change your clothes. Uh, look at your neighbors and change your garment. Uh, it's time to change your garment. Uh, you had the sad garment on. Uh, your funeral clothes on long enough. Uh, now it's time to take off that garment uh, and put on the garment of praise. Uh, because when you have the garment of praise, uh, the Bible lets me know uh, that he's given me the garment of praise. Uh, it's the one thing that I can help that helps me uh, fight my depression. Uh, it's the one thing that helps me uh, when I'm down uh, this last month uh, to lose four friends. Uh, and I didn't lose them, rather. Uh, but to see four friends uh, cross over into glory, uh, the only thing that's keeping me up uh, is my praise. Uh, because my praise uh, and my prayer uh, work simultaneously. Uh, because while I'm praying, uh, I'm praising. Uh, I'm telling the Lord you're great. Uh, and you know all things. Uh, and nothing escapes your knowledge. Uh, and everything is open before you. Uh, so, Lord, right now, uh, I open my mouth. 
my mind And I have hope It's because of your mercy Of your mercy, yes, it is. Oh, 